I'm pretty confident I'll win, so make up whatever you like. Okay. Cheers. Hey, here we are after the first round of EuroLeague. A lot of exciting uh, basketball happened, and we're just gonna run and jump right into it to see how good and bad our teams did. So I will start with mine, worst and best picks. One team member who didn't uh, provide me with uh, any points and actually with minus 2.2 <laughs> <laughs> was positive, sir. So that's pretty sad for me. <laughs> but, um, I'm actually happy with my overall points. Just to clarify, I was like a few points uh, behind Bra. Mm -hmm. You had yeah, 117.7. Yeah, and you had... 122.2. Yeah. So, not that bad. But yeah, uh, Zipster got uh, only m minus 2.2. 2 .2. Um, Brasdekis and Jakubaitis, my Lithuanian crew, uh, did not perform to my expectations. Um, everyone else... To be Pretty honest, solid. everyone else was very, very solid. So, uh, Slukas, uh, Kostas Lukas, Paris Lee, Will Clyburn, and Bezenkov were my uh, top players of the week, and all of them, I'm, I'm very happy with their results. That was pretty amazing. Um, my centers were average. Um, so, Serta Shanley and uh, Fall were. Which Fall? So she thought she picked Mustafa Fall, but she actually took Yustafa Fall, which turned out to be good because Mustafa Fall, I don't think he scored a bucket, but Yustafa Fall got to 7.2 points, so that was oh, lucky. I wasn't sure I was going to share this information, but here we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, my stupid mistake turned out to be a great one. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, but my best players were obviously Clyburn and Mesenkov, so... Good picks. Yep, good picks. Yeah. How did your team do? So I ended up with 122.2 points. Uh, my captain was Misic, and he, you know, was solo as always, 39.6. Uh, my worst... Lucic kind of let me down, because I spent a lot of money on him, and, you know, I thought he'd have a big... You know, because he does so many things, I thought he'd cover a lot of things on the court, but... Rough first game, but I'll give him another chance this week before I have to make any changes. Uh, only change that I was looking at was maybe Tibor. I think uh, this week against Monaco, it'll be tough for him because there'll be a lot of pick and roll. Uh, Mike James, a bit of a bully in terms of he just picks and chooses who he wants to go at. So I feel like I might have to get rid of Tibor this week and maybe bring him back later on. Uh, he didn't give me a whole lot of points last week. Otherwise, across the board, pretty much as expected, my boy Danilo, microwave, 16.2 points. His value went way up, so I'll keep him again for another round. They play Basconia, so hopefully it'll uh, be another big round for him. Uh, Lorenzo Brown, solid. Buran did what he needed to do. Musa. Noah was another surprise. I think I picked him up. He was probably the cheapest player I got. And yeah, he gave me 6.3 fantasy points. So can't complain about that. And Donta, like I thought he would, you know, no. not a whole lot of minutes, but just, you know, three or four dunks, a whole Good bunch advice. of rebounds. And yeah, so I think we're going to talk about trades now. Or? Yeah. So yeah, I only made one trade. I want to give the other guys that I picked last week another run. Uh, before I make a few more changes next week. I had a few in mind, but yeah, I'll see how we go this week. Only change I'm making is getting rid of Tibor, and I'm going to bring in Jordan Mickey. I think, uh, yeah, just like I talked about with the FS Monaco matchup, might be a rough one for Tibor, but hey, you might prove me wrong. And uh, But I'm wrong with uh, Jordan Mickey in my squad this week, but that's the only change I'll make for now. So, surprise, surprise, uh, Brock said I'm, I would be a very bad, bad GM because <laughs> I am not making any changes this week. Um, maybe it's going to be bad, but I don't know. I'm trying it out. It's my first time doing this. I like my team and uh, I want to, uh, if anyone I would have changed would be uh, Brasdekis, uh, probably. But just because um, he's probable, right? I'm not sure if he's gonna play or not. Or yeah, yeah. Play. I think he's gonna play. So I think they, it, they came out that he's gonna play, which let's go hope he recovered well and um, he's gonna provide a bit better for me this week. 
Uh, also, you know, I'm using a very much fi financial uh, restrictions. Res no, but yeah, I have, I have those. But um, I lost a lot of money on Zip Zipster. So as long as I'm not, I'm not selling, I'm not losing. So that's what I'm. Gonna... Bold strategy. <laughs> I, I'm sure that. Uh... I thought you'd see back to even. Yeah, I'm back to even, and then we'll see what kind of trades I'm making next week. Um, the only train I would love trade I would love to make is, uh, I would love to get my James on my team. Yeah, I think everyone would after the week he had last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Um. Okay, so our only thing we need to decide is uh, what is the loser of this competition oh, going, yeah. and what is the winner getting or, yeah. I think just for the loser, I think. Yeah, there's a few good ideas you see online, but I think uh, if any if any of you guys that are watching, if there anyone is out there watching and you have any ideas or any cool concepts for the loser of our little fantasy challenge, drop them in the comments below and let us know and we'll shout you out if we pick yours. Cool? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll we have to decide by next week, I think. It'll be sounds more good. fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. Nothing too crazy, but I'm pretty confident I'll win, so make it whatever you like. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Don't be too harsh then. <laughs> it's only first week, mate. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> we'll see. see you next week. See ya.